everyone, welcome back. It's craft time. It's time to set up my binder for October. So I will be staying in my purple plumeria. I contemplated my chocolate brown, but the more I looked at these gorgeous uh, vellums in my sterling ink subscription kit for October, it just, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's matches the purple plumeria better. So I'm going to stay in this binder. So what I'm going to do is replace probably this tab divider. This is from the August kit, I think. So I think I'm going to replace that one and this one, because these are more summery uh, and not very fall. So I think, I'll, yeah, I think the other two, these, these are still, these are still fall. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've got some, um, this here came in a subscription kit a long time ago from Jane's Agenda and I thought of putting it in. It's like the only month you really use this would be October, right, for Halloween. It says, beware for I am fearless and therefore powerful. It's a quote by Mary Shelley Frankenstein. But I don't know if it's gonna go with my decor. I also got these two page finders from Jane's Agenda subscription boxes because I love the colors and I just love them and I thought that they, complimented that so I may or may not use those we'll see so I'm I have these um, tab dividers in this page finder out these are also from Jane's agenda uh, and I'm going to use these as a stencil to make my stuff okay so that's what I have there and then this here so this is a sneak peek here. This is gonna be my first freebie in my shop. So make sure that you are subscribed to our email list as we will be letting everybody in the email list know first of anything that we launch, freebies and our inserts and, and anything else. So I printed this on vellum, like a, a pretty, like a thicker vellum. So it's not that translucent, but it still is. And I just love it. So that's gonna go in there. So I'll set that aside for now. And then I do have my October um, inserts that I need to trim and get ready. So that's really all I'll be doing to set my binder up for um, October. So out of these two, I think I'm going to use this one for my tab dividers. And then I'll use this one for my um, uh, page finder. Jane's Agenda calls these ones a hybrid dashboard because it's a page finder but it's also wide enough that you can put sticky notes on it and I really like that so I'm going to use that as a template and I'll use this one for that I think we'll see what we'll see what happens Ooh, I bet you that would look nice eh see I like this one because it's not so busy this one has a lot of the darker elements which is beautiful so maybe this would look better as a tab divider because then you can't really see through it see how this one you can see through it but then this is from the September kit I believe and with the darker elements it looks good as a tab divider because you can't really see through it same with this one this one is lighter so then I have this vellum under it so that you can't see all the writing so Okay, I just think I just talked myself out of that. I had it all planned out that these were going to be my tab dividers, but I think that might look, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now what I did last month, if you watched that video, last month I traced it and I cut it, look how high it is. I, I've even trimmed it. So... <laughs> I cut it wrong after um, having it all ready, so I don't wanna make that mistake again. So what I'm gonna do, this one she has where it's, you have a, um, oh my gosh, I can't word. Uh, you know, where you can grab the page from the top, but also the bottom. So it, you can kind of catch it on the bottom and the top, which I like. I like, I have found, so all month I have found I keep using my thumb and it takes me here and that's not where I want it to go because every day I need to go to my dailies and for some reason because I have one bottom tab which I wanted for my monthly 
but I've been, it's just so easy. So I think I've realized I'm a thumb person, at least all of a sudden. So um, I think I do want it to be longer so that I, it takes me right to my dailies because this I go to every single day. So that's the plan. Um, but because this is heavily laminated already, um, let me see. And then I'll be laminating the vellum. I probably, if you hear that rumbling, that's my dryer. Um, or sorry, my washer. Um, I might, I might tr um, like make my insert to here because then when I laminate it, then I'll have that extra overhang. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Let's give that a try. Now, I think I'm gonna do this side or this side. Oh, they're both so pretty. Okay, so see how it's more narrow? I did that on purpose. And then I'm gonna bring that up to the very top. Okay, like um, the top of the vellum to the top of the gold. I'm gonna do that. And then down here, I'm just going to mark at the end of um, the vellum part. I hope this is making sense. Just eyeballing it here. Yeah, that looks perfect. So then I'll trim there because then that way when I laminate and trim it, I'll have the overhang so it won't be, I just don't want it. What I've been doing is tracing here and then I laminate and then it's wider than this and I don't want that. I want it to be pretty close to this size and height. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted, right? Do you see that? So that way when I do my laminating, I'll have an overhang here, I'll have an overhang on the bottom and a little bit on the sides. So that's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, so now I need to round the corners. I'm gonna do the small setting I don't need to do the large setting like I do for my inserts, just the small ones. So then I'll, I'll laminate it and then I'll round the corners again and it just softens it up so that it's not so sharp. I don't like really sharp edges. All right, so that is good. Now I got my, um, my Happy Planner Alphabet sticker books and I wanna put today along the top. I tried black last the previous month I did gold which I liked but then I found sometimes it was hard to see so then I did the black and these are too big and I I just didn't end up liking it so I don't know not pink I like the gold and the black so maybe the lighter black it almost looks gray Yeah, these are the ones I use for this month and they're too big. Do I have enough to write? So T, O, I have no Ds. Let's see on this one. Ah, perfect. So I will be able to do that. I think black is the way to go. Mm, we'll see because this is really dark. So I wanna go in the middle. I want it to be centered do this and then I'll try and put my letters on top of um, the today. Okay, I think the black is, is not going to, I think it's going to be too um, light, like you can barely see that. Okay, so that is not going to work. Go to the gold. I think 
think that's going to be a lot more visible. I love it. Uh oh, is it? Oh, it's crooked. Don't you hate that? <laughs> Yep, it's a little bit crooked. Okay, so let me fix that. But otherwise, what do you guys think? Can you see that? I think that looks good. Okay, that's much better. Love it. Okay, so let's set that aside. Now, I'm going to do my tab dividers. So, let's do one of these. And I'm going to do the very first one. So I use these as a stencil. These are from Jane's Agenda. Aren't they just absolutely stunning? This is from when she was, um, when she did offer personal wide in her shop. So she doesn't anymore, which I'm really, really bummed about. So I'm gonna treasure these and take care of them forever. So I don't use them a whole lot, but I do love the configuration of the tabs. So I do use these a lot as a stencil. Let me just make sure that they're facing the right way so that I use the right one. So that's the first one, second one, nope. third, fourth. Okay. Yeah, I love the configuration how they and how they overlap. So I've been using these for a while now as my um, as a stencil. All right. So let's see which side do I want to use. I think this side. So I'm going to trace. So that one, do I want to use both? Or do I want to use one of these as my other tab? All right, so I've got this one done. So what I do is I um, trim it to the edge of the tab instead of trying to do it as I go. So, and then that way with the paper trimmer, I go as far as I can to the inside of the tab and then I use my scissors to, to trim it. Okay, so let's do this one. So I decided to do one of each, the one with the background and one without. Okay, so these are done, and I'm going to round the inside corners with the large setting on my corner punch. And I'm not going to punch holes in them until it's laminated. Okay, these are stunning, I love them. So I'm just gonna erase any little bit of pencil that I see. Okay, so those are done. And then I need a page finder for my monthly. I might just use this. Why not use the scrap, right? I think it goes this way. Now, let's see. Hmm. I don't want a bottom tab because my today page marker is going to have a bottom and a top. So I think I'll just need, I'll just need a top. And I like the size of this one. So that's what I will use. But I really love this purple flower, so I'm gonna have to go down. So I'm gonna lose that, unfortunately. So pretty. 
Let's see, how do I want to do this? Yeah, that's pretty. And for this one, I'm going to punch all the corners. So I've got all of my tab dividers and my today um, page finder, my monthly page finder. So those are done. All right, so while my laminator is heating up, I'm going to trim my inserts for October. So again, as a reminder, our shop will be opening up in October and we will be selling our inserts. This has been a labor of love for the last two years that I've been making my own, perfecting them and um, making them work for my business, like more functional. And I'm so excited to share them with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed to our email list so that you are the first to know when we launch. We're just getting everything ready in the background right now. So they will be printables. Okay, so they will look very, the, the size that I'm in is personal wide. So we're gonna have, we're gonna start with three sizes, personal wide, Franklin Covey compact and half letter. Um, so the cut lines are going to be the same as what you see on these. So I'll just show you real quick how I cut mine. So I line up my um, paper trimmer with the um, vertical lines and cut all the way across. I usually do two sheets at a time. Okay, so I do this for the first three. So that was one, here's number two. And as I'm doing this, I'm turning it clockwise. Now, for the third one, I don't go all, I don't cut the whole thing off because I need this line to cut here. All right. So what I do is I just go to the to the edge, and then that way there's still some there. So then I don't lose that cut line. And then I line it up and cut it off. That's what I do. Took me a little while to find a good rhythm, but now that I have, this really takes me no time at all to trim my inserts. So one, turn count, uh, turn clockwise rather. Two, on the third one, do not cut all the way across. because you need that cut line. And of course, make sure that they are lined up. Okay, these are done. I'm gonna set these aside for now, but um, yeah, look at that. Perfect trim, they are all the same size. Love it. So let's set all of this aside. It's time to laminate. Laminated and ready to trim. So far, so good. So what I'm gonna do is you can see that there's just a teeny tiny edge. Oops, sorry. There's a teeny tiny edge around the vellum that didn't get laminated. It's really small. So it's important that you don't trim all the way um, down. So I trim just around. Now with vellum, luckily, 
it doesn't split. If you do trim it, it doesn't split. So that's the good thing about vellum. But if this were paper, regular paper, it would split. So you just gotta be careful. So I don't know if you can see where the blade is. I don't know what the glare. Um, I'm just on the outside of that edge. Okay, done. They look good. Oh, I really like it. And then my today, let's compare it. I think it might be just a tad bit smaller, but that's okay. I probably trimmed too much laminate off because um, there's quite a bit of um, a difference here. So it may not, I may not get a bottom tab, but at least I get, I get the top tab. So let's, we'll see once I punch it, how, how it works. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch my holes. Let's round the corners here first. So on this one, I did the small setting. Okay. And then I do the large setting on my tab dividers because it matches perfectly with anything Franklin Covey related. Not that I use Franklin Covey in my planner anymore because I don't, but I've just gotten so used to how the corners are rounded and I really like the shape. So all of the corners are rounded on everything. Now it's time to punch the holes. So the only ones that I have to be careful with are my page finders, because if I punch them exactly where the setting is for these, then I won't necessarily have enough room on the top or the bottom. So with this Repesco punch, which I got off of Amazon, it's really awesome. Um, so if you see here, this says personal size. So there's a little groove there. And once you feel that um, kind of lock into place, then it's gonna punch the holes perfectly for personal size or, um, yeah, personal size. So I have personal wide sized um, inserts, but the personal is the same as far as height. So with these ones though, I pull this down and then I just have to kind of eyeball it based on where I want it to line up on my page. So I want the today, if possible, to be just above the top edge of the page. So this is the not so fun part. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna save that for last because that's tricky. Let's just do everything else first. Okay. 
Okay, so those are done. Now it's time to do these. So let's see. Here. So what I sometimes will do is I'll take one out that has been laminated and then I kind of line it up where I want it to um, show. You know what I mean? Like I'll go like this. So I want it to stick up just a little bit. Was that upside down? Yes, that was upside down. Um, make sure it's right side up. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go like that. And I think that would be enough. Sorry, keep moving my binder around. So I just wanna make sure like how, how far does it stick up? So I probably want it to be about that height. Maybe I should do this one first. Right, so it does stick um, down on the bottom and the top just a little bit. And then I put it in and then I just sort of eyeball where the holes are. So that's why I move this down because you're gonna need room. It's tricky, it takes some finesse, but if you take your time, it's well worth it. So then I just kind of look and see, okay, where are the holes? I don't always get it right. I'll do this and then I punch it and then put it in my planner and it's still not exactly where I wanted it, but I get pretty close. Not bad, I punched it with the page. I haven't done that before. So you can see it made them, like it wasn't in the exact spot, but pretty good. Okay, so here's the test. Okay, I like it, that's good. A little bit of overhang on the bottom and the top, perfect. I think this might be my best one yet. Because <laughs> look how much higher the other one is that I made for this month. So I like this. I don't want it to be so overpowering. Okay, love it, very happy. So now to do the same thing with this one. Except, oh yeah, so what I want it to look at is where it is because I don't want it to be higher than this one right I want it to be maybe just a little bit lower or do I want it to be the same height All right, I think the key, so anytime I've done this before, I didn't have the paper in it, I would slide the paper out and then this, the, um, whatever it is that I'm punching would kind of shift a little bit. So I punched it with the paper and it went in the exact same spot. So fingers crossed, this worked. All right, let's get it set up. And I like to cut slits in, in this so that I don't have to open my rings every day. I can just rip this out. Oh yeah, that is much better. I really like that. And then where did I put? So I'm just really loving this affirmation lately. So I wanna take that off and put it on the back. Cause I'd like to reference that each day. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, yay. And now we're going to replace this with this one. Definitely more appropriate for fall. And then it's a little full. This one with this one. Still loving that. Um, let's see. Yes, 
I'm gonna put this here. Oh yeah, that looks good. I love that. Oh, so pretty. I need to do my October. So this is from the October um, or Sterling Ink subscription kit. So you get one of these every month in B6 size. So it's just a little wider and taller than personal wide. So I just have to trim it down each month to put in my binder. Perfect. So I'm going to keep this week in here. Today is... I'm filming this on September 28th, so September's not quite over yet. So I'll keep this last week in here. And then take the rest out. And then put the rest of October in. Voila! And now my binder is good to go for next month. I just have to decide if I think I'm gonna keep this in for now, but I might change that, we'll see. I just really love the dark, deep, like the warm colors. So let's take a look. So we have this first dashboard, or divider rather. I love it, I really love it. Okay, goes very well with the whole color scheme and then I have my freebie and then this one followed by my monthly and then my today it's perfect I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this little craft with me session. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep that, that's still fall related. And yeah, everything else is gonna stay the same. Okay, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I love doing this every month, and so I don't always film it, but I thought, you know what, why not share with you how, how I do this? in case it gives you inspiration for anything that you have, whether it's scrapbook paper or vellums, um, just different ways to get creative with it. This is the thank you card um, for October, and it's just oh, so pretty. And let's change that out. Yeah, that looks great. All right, thanks for watching guys. Again, make sure that you are subscribed to our um, email list so that you're the first to know when we launch our shop and um, those who are on our email list will be the first to get our freebie. All right, so thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.